As we transition from late spring into summer, there's some familiar sounds. For you, maybe it's crickets chirping, it's the ice cream truck, or crack of thunder. You ever heard that, looked up at a thunderstorm and wondered how they develop? Well, here's a breakdown how these thunderstorms get going this time of year and why they happen most prominently in spring and summer. So you got to get heat from the sun that first warms the earth. That earth then warms the lowest layer of the atmosphere. And uh, as that happens, you get warm pockets of air that start to rise. As they do, they get cooler and cooler. It's colder high up in the air. Think about when you're flying in a plane. That window's really cold. What happens is all that moisture gets squeezed out as you pass what's called the condensation level. There's a point in the atmosphere where that moisture is going to condense and then start to form thunder showers. That's where we get the rain and uh, the updrafts to sustain these. So there's stages to a thunderstorm. You have the uh, developing stage, which is the cumulus stage. These are these puffy white fair weather clouds. No rain's coming out of them. We don't have any lightning or thunder. But then as that growth continues, the storm starts to feed itself more. Warm air rises because it's less dense. It then condensates, cools, rains, and then comes crashing down. And that's when we can get our strong winds. You have all those molecules bumping together. You get lightning and thunder. That's when you got to bring it inside. Of course, that can't last forever. Eventually, that downdraft or that colder air starts to win out. It suppresses any kind of storm development. And then the storm starts to fall apart. That's what we call the dissipating stage. So that's the real uh, in-depth explanation here. But maybe you got a kid at home that wants to learn about this. Here's an experiment that you can do in your house to teach these same principles. Check it out here. So once you have all those laid out, step one, you're going to take your ice cube, which is cold water, and drop it into the hot water. And here's what happens. As that melts, because it's cold, the water sinks down below it, the blue, that's like a cold air mass when we talk about cold fronts and things like that. I'm just going to step to the other side. See how that all sinks toward the bottom? And then when we take our red food coloring, which will act as our warm air mass, I'll set a couple drops in. And I think what you might notice right away is that the warm red stays just above the blue there. This kind of represents the atmosphere in that warmer air would be the red food coloring. It rises above the cold, and that's how thunderstorms form. So on a hot summer day, you get that lift that's needed and uh, thunderstorms develop because of this. Uh, so know that that's generally the physics of the atmosphere here. So you can try this one at home with your kid. Maybe they'll have a little fun doing it and learn something along the way too.